can you go over there? No, this just goes up, up to the ship wheel. Oh. Come on, boy. <laughs> so round. <laughs> All right, what are we doing today, boy? <laughs> Well, we're gonna go on and explore. What do you think? It's the very first of the new year, 2021, and hopefully this is a better year. I'm getting tired of this lockdown stuff. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna get inside of that hole in the ground, and if it don't get better, we're never coming out. So we're gonna do some exploring, have some fun, take you along for the ride. What do you think about that, boy? And hopefully he keeps his pants on. You got anything to add, Max? Oh. Max Berry from Berry Trucking. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, let's go in that so hole, smooth. find some gold. We're gonna get the girls in there. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute, PG, PG only. And hey, Joanne, Joanne, you know her. Her. Yeah. I'm, she's got her own channel. I'll leave a link down below. I want you to watch her videos too. You better do that, boy. All right, let's get on in that mine because I'm freezing my tail off. What? What are we gonna say? Oh, what am I gonna say? Come, come on, on, let's, let's go. go! All right, we're headed down into the mine, and you've probably seen this one on another video that I did. Yeah. But we're gonna go through and explore it, except this time with a group of people. And this is the ore pass. This is the place where they removed all the ore out to the bottom of the mountain. So we're going to head all the way through and then I'm going to point out some interesting geological facts and I'm going to tell you why they were mining here and of course the type of rock they're mining in and of course where the gold is traveling. Ooh, so you know what I'm going to say, huh, don't you boy? Say it with me. So come on, let's go. Ooh, look what I found. A pair of sunglasses. These are really rare. You only see these in a few mines. Ooh, they're rich. I'll take them back to the Pond Stars. <laughs> What type of rock is this? This is all what's called Catherine granite. And there's a lot of gneiss in here too. And all that means is that the granite has undergone a lot of pressure and heat. And it started to change the rock structure into gneiss. And there's also a lot of dikes and seals of rhyolite here. Rhyolite porphyry. And that's where they were finding a lot of the gold, especially where there's hematite. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this haulage drift all along till we get to the bottom of the ore pass and we're gonna see where they were digging. That looks pretty good. And then I'll explain what else they were finding. Ooh, so come on, let's go. It looks like granite to me. Uh, yep. That's is it granite? Or, or this is all Catherine granite. That's your oh, basement rock. Granite. Okay. Oh, now and you got a lot of nice out here too. Is that it's nice. basement or country rock? Same thing. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Just wondering. That, that yep. Country no, I rock. was I was going to ask the same question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. You'll see that in your USGS report. Okay. Country rock, basement rock. Okay. Can you imagine driving this drift when they were um, actually working the mine? In the early days, when they were using hand steel, they could only go maybe a foot. Until they came with pneumatics, and then after that, it was anywhere from three to six feet. And today they can do nine feet. Oh, spooky! How you doing, girl? Spooky! I'm scared. Where does this thing go? <laughs> water drop. See that? Yeah, you can see a lot of water seepage in there. I like going to mines and find the old jars of water wherever yes. they collect it so they can drink it. Right? right? Or that was their urine. <laughs> what is it? Whoa! <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> wow! Hear that? Hear that wind? Wow. All that wind being sucked up through that ore pass. It's another Wow! And that's where we gotta go. Straight up. Yeah, I'd find. Hi, Joanne. Who's that? Who's that pretty girl? You better get up here. How you guys need doing? Need a hand? Give me that I hand. Just need <laughs> a little bit of a boost. Uh, oh, that doesn't look bad. No, it's not bad at all. So over there? Yep. Head on up to the east side. I was just going to start singing. No, that's my nice song. Moving on up. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's a lot of wind coming my way. Yes, it is. Blows you right up. Yep. Oh man, I got it. <coughs> spit. <laughs> oh, these rungs are old. Look at that. This, people been on these ladders for years. And you can tell they use their left foot the most. I do. I'm a left foot forever. Yeah. No children were harmed in the making of this video. Yet. Yet. <laughs> All right. Ooh, look at that door pass. Or not, we What happened to the timber? Somebody took all the timber. 
Alright. It's really hard not to reluctantly try to catch it. Yeah, I've learned to jump out of the way because I drop knives frequently. I do too. What do you think, Julian? I think we need to move that rock right there because if I pull this, that's going to fall down on them. No. Uh, you don't want to do that. It's a very good way. Somebody was smoking. Oh, I saw a lot of Ooh, I love ladders. Look at that, even though that's missing a room. Oh yeah, this is, I'm gonna wait here for him. Ooh, what's up here? Ooh, there's a big turd. What's a big turd doing up here? Look at that bug, all that pegmatitic crystal growing in there. See that? Isn't that nice? And you got this outer lens of calcite. Ooh, I'm taking that one with me. Those are pretty. Yeah, let's see what else we can find in here, boy. No, oh, we're gonna go up and sample a stove. <laughs> sample stove. Look at that red hematite. Ooh, man, the air up here is terrible. Look at that. That's where they're finding the gold. Ugh. See this? You have this huge fractured or what's called brecciated rhyolitic dike that runs through it. It's got a lot of calcite that runs through here, and quartz, of course. The quartz has uh, been replaced by the calcite. Also, you've got this red stained hematite running through here, and this is where a lot of the gold was found. So that's why they were pulling out this huge rhyolitic dike right here, brecciated rhyolitic dike. So I'm gonna pull samples too and see if I can find anything. Look at that. Ooh, I wish I had some dynamite with me right now. All right, we're tying off now. We got our strap in. And uh, that's for safety, of course. And in the meantime, I'm going to continue to sample. Look at this. Oh, Ooh, it's this red-shaded rhyolite. You got stock works and swarms and valence running through there. And you can see the hematite in there, too. It runs at about a 60-degree dip. So we're going to go up this uh, ore pass and see if it pops out. So, you know what I'm going to say, huh? So come on, it, let's go. And start to change the structure of the rock. Alter it. And then, then yeah, it doesn't it look like a vein, it looks like it got hurt. Exactly. It'll start to literally deposit minerals as it either boils or cools. Mm -hmm. You can see some iron right there. Ooh, look at that. See all that beautiful material? That's calcite. You can always tell calcite because it's got that milky color to it. And of course, if you put vinegar on it, it'll foam up. All right, so where are we at? We'll take a look where we're at, boy. That's the infamous Tyro mine. Huge, huge split or cut that they ran through the mountain. Why? Because they wanted to get all these stringers that you see here, these veinlets, stringers, the stockworks, tons of them. They said to heck with this. We're just gonna pull the whole thing. So they made this huge cut for more than the length of a football field. And they pulled it all out. And there's supposed to be a shaft in there too that goes down 500 feet. There's supposed to be gold in here. And it's locked up where you see vugs of iron, manganese oxide, and calcite, and of course quartz. When you see those bugs, you're on a winner. And of course you're gonna see hematite in there. You can see hematite everywhere, look at this. And they even had, see the green? That's copper silicates right there. Ooh, that's always a good sign. I'm gonna come back for this one right here and take them home. What do you think about that, huh? Look at that all through there all right well let's get on in there boy and take a look around because i'm itching to do some more exploring trucks would come up under here Boop. Oh yeah. They'd use a slusher to bring it up here or maybe some kind of a load haul truck, dump it. Oh. And then back out it would go that way. You're a miner. Okay. And you need to get all this hole out. And imagine that that hole up there and that hole is solid. It's, you're like in a pocket. And you need to get this ore out. And of course the level's a little bit higher. You can see the benches up there. So how do you get the ore out of here? <laughs> Uh, okay, gravity, gravity right. down there. Right. Okay, is there... So that would be called? Okay, Bingo. Okay. There's got to be a drift down there. Somewhere. Bingo. That picks it up. And if I... Think about it. If, mm -hmm. uh, the one that you saw when we first got up here, mm -hmm. 50 bucks says that decline connects to these ore passes underneath us. Yep. Okay. Can I do one of 
I'm amazed at how shallow the water table is here. Yeah, me too. Now what about Well, I can tell just by looking at the drill patterns that they started from here and went and down. Yeah, and broke down because of the hole. Exactly. Sure. And I don't know if this was an older workings or they had some mechanized machinery bolted into place there for this, whatever. In support of this. Yeah, right? exactly. Uh -huh. I hear 405, do I hear 406? 406. Is that where we need to go? Yeah. I bet you that's where we need to go, but let's. Pow! <laughs> Big Bob was here. I used to eat at that restaurant. Bob's Big Boy? Yeah. Mm, uh, steak dinner. <laughs> Ooh, wee. All right, Max, you're in charge. Where are we going? Uh, we're going uh, that way. Okay, let's go that way. Uh, what are these wooden posts for up here on the back? I'm guessing for either electrical or ventilation pipes. Uh, I'll, I'll buy that. Uh, that back is pretty high. Man, they were they were fooling around, they were they? Some water pipe. Ooh wee! That means they're pumping water out of this mucker. <laughs> Be an easy way to get some water. Now when they're tunneling down, are they, I guess, I guess uh, back in the day before, they're, they're hitting the water table, I guess, would, would it be just wet dirt? And then yeah. Turn into the, only reason, the only reason that um, it's full like this is because it's had time to seep and fill up to the water table. Ooh, there's some pirate here. Ooh, you better get your rock camera up. Are you trying to break the rocks? Yep, you can smell the sulfur in there. Mm. Oh yeah, sulfites. Mm. Oh yeah. Ooh, what's that? That's the infamous scary wolf dog. <laughs> yeah, that kind of took us by surprise. Yeah, when I first saw it too. <laughs> it made you hit the brakes before you head that way. Oh, uh, oh the shiv wheel's gone. Uh, sure. You can see the ore bin on the other side. It's all this. It's something that's dumping in here. Ooh, we know the massive operation. Look at that. They put their side dumps here, have a whole train of them right here. Back them up and fill them up. Look at that. You don't see craftsmanship like that anymore. And look at this on the ladders. What you see is an underground See, they would actually cut, and then these guys would the extra length and put this extra piece of wood to make sure the rungs wouldn't come back. Pull on them. Wow, that's secure. And there's your water table. Oh, that one's down about 100 feet. You know the workings are down 200. Take a look at that monker. Yeah, you, can you still got your rails? Your safety rails, huh? Yeah, your guides for huh? your uh, safety cage. Yeah. See the hanging bolts holding the sets together? I wonder if there's a working level before that water table. Wow, look at that. Isn't that cool? And this would have gone down to what? 500? Yeah, this is 500. 500 feet. I would walk 500. Wow, look at that. Isn't that cool? And then the ore bin is right here. Ooh, that the living hell. Look at that monkey. Look at that. See how they got everything bolted together with these. And then the timber right here, you got these lap joints. Because the timber obviously is not that long, so they just cut these and create half laps and then bolt the timbers together. Can I go to the surface, Jeff? Can you go over there? No, this just goes up to the ship wheel. Oh. Yeah, where they, they have the A-frame to support the timber, the gable. See that? Because of the immense amount of weight that's on the ship wheel. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a gable. Like a bunch of monkeys on a monkey jam. <laughs> And the wood you're standing on, Max, yep. these are true 
two by 12s. They're actually two inches thick, not that crap you buy at Lowe's or Home Depot. You never see good wood anymore like this. No, the ears are up there and it would dump here. And you can see the lap joints here and the pencil, there's still pencil mark right there. See that? Oh, nice. And they would cut this and they would lap these two pieces together because obviously they don't make a piece of wood that's 30 feet long. And bolt this thing together. And then of course they're all held together with these long bolts like you see in the shafts for the hanging bolts. And they just notch everything and it locks together. And the bolts hold it all in. And they don't want this thing to shimmy. So they, what do they do? They brace it right here. And they add these bolts to create tension. They don't build them like this anymore. And then that's the infamous mat hey. tunnel right there. <laughs> Goes nowhere. <laughs> ah. Ooh, ghost stories. Wow. And that's a mortise and tendon right there. And they slide this piece in, bolt it together with that hanging bolt, notch him, bolt him together, and this whole thing is like an erector set held together with these bolts. And then it's all wedged in with these miner's wedges and blocks. And then the structure's anchored in the back here with these bolts. See that? Right there. Oh, and there's a matching one. Yep, they'd have one. As you would here. expect. And then here's the holes for the bolts to hold it together. Now they don't, they didn't put one here because why? You'd hit your head. Bingo! <laughs> this one piece would be called a set. Right. These are called collar braces. These ones in between. Okay. And these block each set off from the next one. So the hanging bolts are pulling up this set into these to hold it together. Mm -hmm. This is uh, called a wall plate, and that's called an end plate. The uh -huh. wall plates are notched on the bottom like, like this, and the end plate is notched on the top like this, so it sits on top. The wall plate bolts and holds this up against the collar brace, which is that post there, which holds it up into the next set. Mm, look at this. Make a diamond ring out of it. Yeah, see that green quartz? That's beautiful. Yeah, got a nice little bug of it right here. All the way across. Oh, that's really nice up there. It goes all the way over. Yeah, there's a nice vein of it running right through the, right there. Through this calcite. It goes all the way over here, too. Wow, right, right I'm gonna there. chip some of this out. Well, that's I mean, they, I think beautiful. they were mining it up this hole right here. Look at that. Maybe. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and chip that out. Big sample of it and give it away. Yeah, oh yeah, some lucky person's gonna get a big old handful of it. That's if you like green quartz. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, Imshaw approved. <laughs> I better put my uh, safety goggles on. Yeah, we're gonna get a whole bunch of that. Look at that when you, it's, look at that. Isn't that nice? Great stuff. That is gorgeous. So what I'll do is I'll get a whole bag of this stuff and then we'll give it away at the end of, end of the month. So that way you can have a sample from the Tyro mine. Sound good to you? Look at that giant bug, oh yeah. Beautiful, almost looks like a venturi. You see these dampeners right here? Yeah. What's that do? Slow well, it, it slows the rock down so it doesn't come pouring out real fast. Ah. You get a counter, nice steady flow. To them. Most big modern mines, they use these heavy, heavy chains right here to act as a dampener. Just to, just to slow everything yeah, down? Yeah, so, because it'll, it'll take off on you. Ah, <laughs> ah con! Ah. Oh, no, you're going the wrong direction, Joe. Go to the left a little bit. Oh, now you're going too far to the left. Go to the right. Oh, that's a stupid collapse. That sounds like how I drive. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Joanne found a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Look at the size of that compressed air pipe. Holy yes. cow. Is that something? I love these little aprons that they have here. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Here's Joanne's frog. I can see why they left it behind, it's too heavy. So they had a split here. And if I had to put money on it, they had a turnout right here. So they could run 
car or cars over to the side while other ones are going out. So this shows you the size gauge of the rail that they're using in here. This is pretty heavy stuff. I know, look at this. What's that for? Oh, uh, oh, that? Yeah, think about it. Does that, uh... Yep, they'd have a metal ring here okay. that would hang here, and, and they'd have it. a hook on it, and they'd get hooked that up when it's let time go. to get the car here. They let go, the apron would go up, and it'd keep all that loose material from sloughing down. They pulled the ties up, too. Holy cow. Jeez, just massive monkers. Yeah. And this has got a man weight. Look at that. You first. <laughs> wow. Take a look at this man weight, boy. Don't say nothing, just get your pants up there. Yep. <laughs> I like that one. Wow. Yeah, what do you think about that? Is we safe, do we? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Workstation. You're working me, Max. You're working the heck out of me. You need a helmet camera. Yeah, where's your, what is it, four, uh, you need four points of contact on the ladder? Four? Or, yeah. Or is it three? three? No, it's four. Is it four? Yeah. Thanks, Max. Come on up and check it out. It's uh, plugged, but it's pretty interesting. Oh, that's cool. Grizzly, it Look at that. drops 50 feet. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's full, huh? Well, it looks like there's a drill still down there. Oh yeah, this mucker's plugged. Plug real good, like. Hey, these got gold in them? Ooh. They might. Unless this is the stuff that they were... Oh yeah, you can see that this is coming from the surface, all this silty material. There's a nice vein that they were chasing, look at that. Man, imagine working up here all day long. Busting these rocks up. They didn't work here, they probably waited for a plug and then they came up here and busted it up. <laughs> If I had to guess. This room didn't fill up. Uh, pretty neat. Yeah, pretty neat. Uh, all right, I'm going back down. There's nothing to see up here. We came and conquered. See those blast holes? <laughs> Raised mining is the hardest because you're drilling up and you're loading up. And then when you have to bar down the rock, it's coming down, baby. Right, right. And if you're drilling up with a stoper, and all of a sudden you hit a soft pocket, so. it's gonna come down in your face. Right. And that ain't no good, boy. You can see where the ore is coming down even further up higher. And it looks like the guys who opened this up uh, in the 40s, they caved it, not on purpose, but they caved it with all the heavy equipment. And you can see where the stope is choked off. What do you mean? Oh, it's hot up there, huh? Oh, yeah, it's a good workout. Uh, ah, ah. I did. What are you doing up there, monkey girl? Get ready and try to climb down. All right, I'm going to catch you, okay? I think she's I'll catch you. Dancing. Huh? <laughs> you pole dancing? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but that's a long pole to be dancing on. And there's no bottom. <laughs> I've got no bottom? No. Uh, Woo! I mean, they don't serve alcohol at this one. No. <laughs> This is just, hey, how do you know about that? <laughs> uh, 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 he reads books. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he reads books and watches documentaries. Yeah. I know, but just in case, I don't know how to drive your truck. <laughs> you, you fish the keys out of my coal bed hands. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just prop you up and you yeah. Good job. Yeah, imagine drilling all of that. Load it and load it around and then pop it and then muck it. They might have had uh, mucking machines in here. It looks almost like they were going to start again and they stopped right here. Uh -huh. Those holes look fresh. But yeah, if, if you're going to create a contour in the rock surface, you want it all in one shot. 
So you do the burn in the middle first, right? And then you have boxes. You have a box, and then you tilt the box uh, 90 degrees, so it's a triangle. That's your drill pattern. Then you tilt the box back. That's your drill pattern. Tilt the box back, back and forth. And then you have a okay. proper disbursement to break the rock. In the larger mines like this, that's all they do. A, a technician would come in. He'd spray a grid on the wall. Nice just grid. Li just lines. Yeah, just lines. lines. Okay. And then the jumbo would come in, and uh -huh. they would drill at the cross points of each right. each one of those. And then they would. Mostly, it's three to five sticks per hole. Okay. Ooh, let's get. Oh, there's eyes over there. Look at that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 now, of course, today they don't use cartridge explosives anymore. They use packaged emulsions that look like sausages. They're real soft and you can cut them and do all kinds of stuff with it. And if they're not using that, they'll just pump the, uh, the ammonium nitrate into the hole. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>